Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith Mutune and this is Faded, the fashionable doctor. Thank you so much for stopping by and please subscribe to my channel. So today I'll be taking you through the process of assembling an NV kit and I have my equipments right there. So I'll be taking you step by step. Yeah, that's it. An MV kit in full is manual vacuum aspiration kit and it's used to evacuate the remaining products of conception in case of an abortion. And it's a sterile procedure and I'll be taking you through the process of assembling the kit. I'll start off by fixing the valve and the valve liner as you can see in the video. This is the cap and I'll fix it at the front part of the valve. I'm holding a plunger and a condom. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to use a lubricant but currently we do not have a lubricant so I'm using what is available. You know you have to improvise and it works perfectly. Yeah. And now the lubricated plunger goes inside a barrel. Now I'm fixing the two parts together so the barrel goes inside the valve and you have to make sure that it's well aligned. That's the stopper I'm trying to lock it. It prevents the plunger from coming out of the barrel while you create your vacuum. That's the cannula and they come in different sizes and I'm fixing it to the valve and that that's what goes inside the uterus to suck the products of conception. I'm done assembling the kit and I'm just trying to, to create a vacuum just to see if it's working properly. That's a speculum and I'm using KY jelly to lubricate it. The speculum goes inside the vagina, then you open it and lock, and that's the part where the cannula goes in through the cervix into the uterus. Yeah, and you're able to suck the remaining products of conception. Everything is set and I'm ready to start my procedure. Thank you. 
Now I'm just writing down the MVA notes and I'm writing what I saw in during the MVA, like whether the the products of conception were septic or whether it was false smelling, the, the estimated blood loss. And I'll also make sure that the patient has antibiotics. If she's not on antibiotics, I'll have to prescribe them and also analgesics. <music> Now I'm in a different ward that is post CS ward and I'm writing down the discharge summaries for the patients who are day three post CS and do not have any complications. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye. Adios. <laughs>